Hey guys, welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can... Oh no, I'm extremely sorry. But no problem. Today we are going to learn how you can remove this exact sound using Adobe Premiere Pro and Audition. Let's begin the tutorial. So as you have seen in the intro part, when I have making the intro part, I've gotten a notification on my smartphone, right? So here how you can remove that notification sound using Adobe Premiere Pro and Audition. The process is pretty simple. I've already transferred the video here on my computer and let's see how you can remove that particular sound so that we can get a clean sound for my voiceover, right? So here is the video. If I play it back. Hey guys, welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can... Oh no. You can see here is the sound. We have to remove that spot sound. Using Adobe Premiere Pro only, you cannot do that unfortunately, but you can do that with the help of Adobe Audition. So to use Adobe Audition, first you need to install it and make sure when you're installing, install the same version that you have already in your computer. If you have Premiere Pro 2023 version, then you have to install Adobe Audition 2023 version in order to use the dynamic link feature. So after installing Adobe Audition, you need to select the clip that you want to edit in Adobe Audition then right click there and from here you have to select edit clip in Adobe Audition. In this way, Premiere Pro will transfer the audio file to Adobe Audition so that you can have more flexibility to edit the audio clip. Let's click here and there you can see audio file have been opened here in Adobe Audition. Now you have to play it back. Hey guys, welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can... So here is the part of that sound, right? Show you how you can... So we have to remove that part so here you can see we cannot see that particular waveform right so how we can remove that in adobe audition there is a feature which is called this one show spectral frequency display if you click here or if you press shift t on your keyboard then you will get a better view of your audio waveform you can see the actual frequencies right so here if i play it back show you how it here you can see this spot this one this one this is the actual audio frequency of that notification sound we need to delete that so how we can delete that if you want to delete this portion you need to select this one which is the mercury selection tool if you select this one now you can select the part suppose i want to remove this part if i select this part then i can play it back what is the sound is all about if i play it back this is the frequency of that sound so i want to remove that let's remove it again here is the part of the notification sound if i play it back you can see that is also a frequency i'm just pressing delete on my keyboard to delete it again here is the another one let's delete it if i play it back yeah let's delete it again here is the another one so when you are deleting the part you have to make sure you're not actually deleting the frequency of your voice then it will not sound great so again play it back to see if that is the sound yes let's delete it and again here i can see this one is also that frequency if i select that yes let's delete it and now if i play it back well today i'm going to show you how you can, you oh can no. see <laughs> the extreme <laughs> sound is not there so we have successfully removed the notification sound from our file. So how you can save that? You have to just go to here on file and from here you have to press save. If you press save, then it will be transferred over to the Premiere Pro or you can press Ctrl and S to save it. Then you can just minimize Adobe addition. Then here, if I play it back. Hey guys, welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can you can see oh, no. the notification sound isn't there. So that is how you can remove any particular frequency of sound in Adobe Premiere Pro with the help of Adobe Audition. So that is all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video or if you have learned something new from this one, then you can give me a thumbs up. If you need this channel, want to learn Adobe Premiere Pro or video editing, then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.